High value. What is it, I ask? And depending on who you ask, you will get no clear answer. And the reason for why I think that that happens is due to how I find it to be a complete and utter lie of a phrase in today's society. Because once again, what is high value? What is your definition of a high value man? It doesn't matter. Like, just say, what is a high value man? It's the first part of the tweet. What does that mean? You tell me what a high value man is. The fastest way to becoming a high value man is these things. What is that? So here's the thing. What is a high value man? But the very fact that you're even asking me this in the first place is the actual point of the tweet what is your definition of high value man this is the number one talked about topic on all of these shows so i want to get a clear definition from you what is it you tell again it depends on the person look i'm asking as somebody who's really interested in the red pill i listen to a lot of this content i want to know what your definition is because if you have a definition that's completely off of what i think it is then i guess i'm not red pill well here's what here's okay so here's what i think a guys ought to do which and might I just say that this question, is, the more and more I think about it, it seems more and more like Matt Walsh's question. What is a woman? Can you tell me that? <laughs> well, you're at the Women's March, you must have some idea. Please, if, if one person could tell me what a woman is. You are not here for women. We ask to leave. What is that? I like scented candles. And I've watched Sex in the City. Yeah. How do I know if, if I'm a woman? That's a great like, question. How do you know that you're a man? I guess because I got a dick. I'm not a woman, so I, I can't really answer that. Women only know what women are. Are you a uh, cat? No. Can you tell me what a cat is? Do you want to tell us what a woman is? But I must say first and foremost, hey, yo, I'm toasted. Uh, ideas. And here I talk about things that interest me. I like to think about things critically and have my own opinion because then I'm not a sheep to any specific person or thing. I cover topics from the left to topics from the right while also not forgetting about the topics in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Now, continuing on as although that clip was of Rolo Tomasovi completely avoiding the question of what is high value, what I really want to go over is what I find to be the two front runners of this whole red pill shtick. Fresh and fit. And why I find them to be missing that mark by a whole wide margin. Now, although Rolo might be spineless with his words, what I call to be high value is a man that leads with truth, honesty, reliability, self-control, and consistency with their words and actions. All of which I find that fresh and fit lack, although they call themselves high value. And maybe to their own standards of high value, they are right, but I really couldn't care less about their own phrasing because their phrasing in my own ideas is weak. Well, just to recap, number one, we define what high value is, yeah. right? Number two, you understand that you must sacrifice at some point to become high value. Number three, you understand money is important. Number four, fit, you understand fitness is important. Number five, you understand mindset is important. That selfish mindset, guys, where you're going to get it no matter what. No one's going to get in your way. Number six, the network you surround yourself determines your value. And more importantly, adding value to that network so they want to continue to work with you. Yeah. And then uh -uh, number eight, woo, to finish it off, guys, because this is so important. Yep. Final round. You don't give a fuck about what other people think about you, man. God damn. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Bro, if there's one thing that being high value uh, is, it is a, literally a non-care attitude towards other people because this is what you guys got to understand. As you level up, haters will inevitably come and try to take you down. They'll try to demean you. They'll try to degrade you. They'll try to talk smack. They'll try to tear you down and say you're not credible. Right. And when that happens... You need to smile because it means you're making it. So just to wrap that up, they said sacrifice, money, fitness, selfish mindset, network, and finally, don't care about what others think about you. And you know what? For the most part, I agree with how they put high value because all of those things are important. But for the statement of high value, 
I would put all of those things on a tier just below being high value. Except for the point of selfish mindset and I don't care mentality. Because both of those points are below the board in my mind. As how can you be a strong leader when you don't care about people questioning your position? That sounds like a fantastic way to become invisible to everyone. You know, like what's the golden rule? Do unto others as you want done unto you? If you stonewall, then expect to be stonewalled back either now or later. And about the selfish mindset, that sounds like a really fantastic way to die alone. And that to me just does not speak high value, which this would be the point of where I make note of how both high value men are single and only have S through money and fame. And go figure that the person who claims a selfish mindset to be of a high value man's way is also the same man who defends men cheating as men are quote unquote hardwired to fridge as many women as possible and that having S is like peeing to them and that women are more emotionally involved than men. Which is why on my list of high value traits I put self control on there. Cause as a man, as men, we are but our nature. But when all you do is act upon that, then you become no different from everyone else. Ergo, when everyone is high value, then no one is high value. And if you as a man are completely bound by your most nature to nature inhibitions, that being reproduction, then I find you to be a weak nothing burger. Cause you are a drop in the bucket of men on earth. I can go outside to the local homeless brigade and find 20 of those men. Just as well as I can find 20 men who have a selfish mindset. And not just to call out homeless people, cause I can do the same shit with just about any group of men. And when you're the same thing as almost anyone, then I would call you low value. Cause to be high value, you must produce a material in human that isn't found in other properties of that same type. I can go outside and basically pick and choose who is a selfish man. Cause there are so many men who are selfish that I would most likely only choose selfish men when picking. Just as well I can, as I can do that with dishonest men. I have yet to meet someone who is like me in that field. Now, am I saying I'm high value by my own standards? No. Do I contain a portion of being high value by my standards? Yes. Though, to continue on. Because another reason for my problem on that statement of high value being about not caring about uh, what others think about you is that by doing so, you get rid of all emotion in that man. And my position on this has changed through growth. But as I see it now, is that to be a man who doesn't feel emotion is to be on the same wavelength of weakness and gullible. When you are unable to understand your emotions and know what they are and where they come from, then that is when you open yourself up to scams and lies. Our ears are one of the most gullible parts of ourselves as put by whole math. But I believe that an untrained and misunderstood emotional insight is by far the most gullible thing that you could ever have. And when you don't care about how you feel about what people say about you, then you are subsequently closing off your ability to, ability to understand the emotions you feel about public outcry. And... Just to bring attention, what do we see in Fresh? He got a lady who they both claim through and throughout their entire podcast career to be in complete disagreement with. I have to be careful what they want me for. That being said, this shorty here, bro, listen, listen, listen. That shorty here, bro, want me for me, 100%. All right, you said she was very different from every girl you meet in Miami when I've heard you speak about every girl in Miami before. You generalize. No, that being said, when I met her, I saw she hadn't been tainted yet. 
Shannon being like in certain circles where like, you know what? Damn, she's gone through streets. What does it mean mm-hmm. that she's different than not thinking like a Miami girl? Yes. I just pointed you out know, like, someone. Okay. Like, e- explain that. Because I've heard he, you say. Yeah. So for example, right? <laughs> this girl is sipping tea. This girl is sipping. Yes, please. Explain. Yes, explain. Go ahead. Yeah. You wake up. Mm-hmm. If you watch the interview, one of the mm-hmm. funniest parts is seeing all the Miami women being shat on while Walter's there. Like, the white girl beside me is very different. That being said, she's not into like designer going crazy, like, oh, I need to have this and that. It's more like, she wants a good time with me. Okay. I don't know why I just got this random link. Miami, Florida. Let's look through. Wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. 22, still in college. Ooh. <sighs> Why do you think she, she's interested in you? Ask her. I was going to say, can I answer this? Of course. <laughs> um, I feel like the first March. day that I met you, having that genuine conversation on the boat. like On, a yacht. I, oh, on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> was it 60 foot long? Was it 85 foot? I couldn't even Free tell drink? you. <laughs> uh, see, I am a very big personality person. So if he came up to me and he just came and was like, hey, let me get your number, that's a no for me. The fact that he invited me and he's been in, he invited me out before yeah. and it was just the fact that me and my roommate were sitting at home yacht. no me and my roommate were sitting at home <laughs> yeah. and i was like wow what are we gonna do tonight and then like at that moment he texted me and he was Does like he hey you ride guys. with scooters or get on the yacht let's talk about it and moreover fresh lies when he says that he has quadruple the body count like nobody has ever believed him when he said that from the very beginning because it is obviously a a lie oh, so my honest to god true body count bro no cap you ready for it it's over a thousand i'm dead ass serious i remember i told you right i told you about barbados when so basically guys i'm gonna break it down for you right so look right now so in barbados right i can tell you before there's a whole culture of women from uk coming from like you know uh, italy Beta. because the way you talk about women especially because you're in miami mm-hmm. you just proved that saying that if she's here and she's new those rules don't apply he's dishonest about where he met her like, he goes on a weird rant that about literally nothing in the search for an excuse as to why she's not like other girls kind of shit, you know? He goes, he does a whole entire circle jerk about trying to find a, an excuse for that. We use trigger sites, right, to hit up girls, and we don't pay a cent, and go with them, we get it for free. So, that being said, she told me, hey, I was on Seeking, and I said, bet. I go on there anyway, saw the chicks. We met on Seeking. Yeah, so we, we met on there. We definitely uh, spoke. And then I got Instagram. She told you, she ain't tell you on the yacht, nigga. Nigga, we went on multiple days after the yacht. She's like, yo, I gotta be honest with you. Right? Because I don't want to mess up anything in the future. Most girls that you meet, bro, are on something, bro. They might not tell you. At least she surely told me, bro. Like, if she told me, I was like, but you know what? I respect that shit. If you, if, if I know guys are paying you for, to, to smash, mm-hmm. that right there is a, is a red flag for me. But what the fuck is she doing on there? Okay, so 100%, bro, I don't know what she's doing on there. That being said, hey, she might need some money. I don't know what's going on there, bro. It wasn't a red flag when you found out she's on Seeking Arrangements and she decided to come link with you only when you were on the yacht. No, 100%, no. Bro, in Miami, almost every girl you see that's, that's good looking, bro. And to top it off, he's clearly got no game in his body whatsoever. Man really walks around with CEO everywhere on him and then makes vlogs about being in expensive cars with an attractive woman in miami while saying that he has game like can i get a clueless for 500 trebek and then he's like yo bro are you on instagram i like perfect yeah i am so i get my instagram i admire the confidence of walter for leaving this video up and thinking it's beneficial to his brand this is hands down the most comical video i've ever seen on youtube an nba player at a miami pool party is exchanging instagram profiles with walter this story would be comical enough if it ended here but we haven't even gotten to the part where walter sleeps with multiple women and lo and behold he followed me he said wait you know this chick so he pulls up this, this girl's profile because you can see who's following someone they just added from like the following list I was like, yeah, I know her, bro. I used to like do her back in the day. Walter sounds like an eighth grader who heard his older brother refer to sex as doing someone. To all the lovely women watching this, how many of you have already realized that this guy is a complete fabrication of a ladies' man? What's more pathetic is this guy and his partner, Myron Gaines, are seen as the voice of men's improvement on YouTube. And so, what do I bring back up? My own definition of a high value man. And my reason for doing so is because if every man walked around with my definition, then crap like what Fresh does would not happen. If Fresh had self-control, then he would know that she looks at him purely for money and wouldn't be in that situation because it does not benefit him mentally. 
and if he had honesty, then he would be able to speak with his chest out rather than be looked down upon for doing exactly what they talk against. If he lived in truth, then he would understand where he stands in a place like Miami and then go find a woman without Miami ideals. And if he lived a life of being reliable, then he wouldn't be actively spitting in the face of his friends by him pulling this dumbass move with her. Because he made both of his friends look like fools for having him there because all he did with having her was prove all of what they fresh and fit, say, as a complete nothing burger, because he clearly does not live a life of consistency. And perhaps you can tell me, but how can you trust someone who isn't consistent with their words and actions? And where can you find this man? Along with his compadre after all the shenanigans of being high value when they clearly are not. Still single, making less money, having less fame, and being a laughing stock for those who don't swallow. Excluding women in that joke, unless we are talking about swallowing garbage, in which I hope women don't do. And they are not looked at as being reputable places for growing men or growing boys. Instead, you know what they did? They bolstered up their own quote-unquote enemies like Abba and Preach or Destiny and the likes as being the real place for growing boys because what do we see on a clear one-to-one -one scale between those people? Well, if fresh and fist are dishonest, then those who disagree would be honest. And on and so forth we go down the line of opposition. One side is dishonest, therefore the other is honest. Uh, one side is untrustworthy, therefore the other is trustworthy. And so through their incompetency, they have done nothing but bring rise to those who they find disagreement with. Now, I realize that I haven't talked much about fate in this, although I have lumped him in with Fresh in the duo of lacking. And my reason for doing such is due to the already dead and beaten horse that is his own wrongdoings, which Fresh is, at the very least, clear of, for the most, due to how he doesn't talk much, but rather just lets Fit take on the reins in every conversation. But I don't know how much good can come from your compadre being the reason why everything you build together is falling apart, because while Fresh is at the least lacking in high value when it comes to behind the scenes, for the most part, Fit Meanwhile, is lacking in high value when it comes to being the face of the company. So everything negative that he does is just as bad as when Fresh does it. Because Fresh hurts the business on the inside, but Fit hurts the business just by mere glance in that direction. For starters, once again, he gets with women who he disagrees with vehemently. Or, I would at least guess on how he treats the women on his show. Then you come to find out, this man's talking about, listen, if you, we, want, we want burning desire from ladies. Ain't that what they say? Right? You want to get their best, so you got to earn it. Come to find out, this man's telling girls in the DMs that if they want to come on the platform, they have to fuck. And if they don't, he gets upset about it and he gets all pissy. Oh, you fucked all my other boys. You won't fuck me, then you can't get on the platform. So wait, you want to bang a girl who just wants to come on the platform for clout? And you think that's burning desire? And again, guys. I don't even care that he does that goes about that way to bang girls. Do whatever you want. You earned your platform. Go ahead. Me, it's the hypocrisy of these ideas. You preach to these men that they have to always seek this thing, that this is the way to live, that this is the best way, but you don't even walk the talk. That's what I find distasteful. It's like a Derek Jackson talking about be faithful to your wife, don't pay for box, come to find out this man's cheating on everyone. How are you any different? Can you tell me? He lies about promiscuous women being bad for women because if he actually agreed with that sentiment, then he would not feed into that promiscuity because all it does is harm both of them. She's still promiscuous and fit has words as strong as a slight breeze. Even more, what I find really distasteful is you come to find out that Myron Gaines himself, right, the so-called pickup artist, the master, has his own seeking arrangements account, his own profile, all right? This is on the web, you can find it. This man's out here talking about don't pay for box, don't pay for box. He's on a website for sugar daddies and sugar babies. Okay, all right, you want to be a giant hypocrite? Do your thing. He is dishonest when it comes to 
beef with other people because all he does is fight the physical nature of his enemies rather than the actual ideals spread by them. For example, the argument between him and Preach. And then, when it turns out that Preach takes out trash like him on the regular, then he backs down like the quote-unquote high-value man that he is. If I see them in the club, it's gonna be nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm not throwing bottles, I'm not, I'm not throwing bottles, I'm not trying to, I'm not try, trying to start mm -hmm. I'm not doing that, none of that. But, let's, you wanna fight, that's what you said. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do it then. If that's what you want, again, we go back of, I'm 40, you're yeah. 42, yeah. you say something, it might happen. I just said, let's go. We'll go to that gym, we set it up, and I was texting, I was texting Fresh. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. See? Like, actual fight. Mm -hmm. I would, no, let's put some gloves that's on. What I'm saying. Yeah. We put some gloves on, we box it out. You said you've been nice in the gym and you want to box me out, let's go. But is this a two-on-two, -two, or is mm -hmm. this just you taking it's up? me versus one bitch. Then I take the other, that's what wow. I said. I was living at the point. Do you stand by those comments today? I said what I said. And on the same wavelength of Fresh being bad for business, Fresh is just as bad for business because he has no clue when it comes to keeping a business alive in today's timeline. Because from his actions in the past couple years, he has done nothing but sabotage any re reputation that they once held among a growing group of boys. They have been racist, sexist, and been with people who are anti-Semitic, questionably pedophilic, abusive, power-hungry, filth, spineless, and untrustworthy men. You niggas to do now, but see, ooh, you same shitty fucking camera for a damn decade, same shitty road mic right there that looks like a penis forever. You guys have not proved nothing, and you fucking niggas, millionaires, not invested back in the business, get called out by a fucking racist KKK member out of Tennessee. Uh, you warn guys about girls like me, so tell me about girls like me. Just you women in general, like I mean. Well, no, a... no, don't woman in general, because you literally specifically said before we got on here so that you, yeah, you did say that That's true. you warn guys about girls like me. So now that we're face to face, what kind of girl am I? You're not special. You're like other girls. That's I'm key. not special. Like, so, you're like other women that are. So like... what makes you special then? I never said I was. That man really sits there looking like fucking Piccolo, acting like he can talk like this. What do you gain from telling girls that they're not special? How does that make you feel? Ooh. I mean, I know, everything, sorry, I know everything is a joke, but I'm asking you a real question. So how does that make you feel? Because if I say you're a bitch ass nigga, that does something for me. What is Nick Fuentes coming on talking about Jews saying the N-word a bunch of times and, you know, chopping it up with a white supremacist have to do with saving men? Um, about your statement that 16 year old minors are more attractive than adult women. <laughs> have you always been attracted to minors? Um, have you sought help for this? <laughs> Obviously, this is a big problem and I look forward to your response. Balls in your court. What do you say to that, bro? <laughs> So what will happen if I put a girl in those kind of scenarios and she doesn't act right or doesn't make the right choice? What I will do, instead of actually getting rid of her, I'll keep her, I'll keep fucking her, but I'll fuck her different. So instead of, there's no kissing anymore. You understand? You understand? She's not doing that thing anymore. She's gonna feel it yeah. different. Yeah. And afterwards she's gonna be like, you don't, you don't love me anymore, do you? Where's in, this going? You've threatened intimacy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've threatened that, intimacy. I, and she's gonna get, it's no longer intimate on any level. She got fucked. And then afterwards she'll be like, trying to give me a hug. I'll be like, oh, wait, wait, I, I've, I've, I've got to go out. And I'm going to change on such a small level that will hurt her more than even losing you. If there's someone that's very, very young and goes into a marriage and has kids when they're like 18, 19, 20, a year into the relationship, it gets really, really abusive. Even though it might be rare from what you guys think, it uh, if on. it would happen, what would you recommend for those people? Would they divorce or do you want them to keep going in the relationship? Keep going. You can't divorce. That's not a real thing. Even though it might be like physically yeah, abusive. You got to endure. People are too. You want to stick in the relationship? People are just, I mean, look, people I'm nowadays are just. Situation. For anyone that might be in that situation, what would you recommend? Okay, you you endure. Tell you they... He's talking to some guy and the guy said to him, well, at least I've never been arrested for glassing a bitch. And he's like, yo, why are you so sensitive? You, you, are you going to leave next? So that's the, the MLD saying, like, why are you so sensitive? Why are you bringing that up? And the guy says, I'm not sensitive, just giving back some. And then MLD says, you act like that's the last bitch I'll smite on this planet. Well, do you think you have healthy habits? Yeah. Now, Let's fucking do it. Hey, guys, when we speak, everyone... Raise no, your hand. No, raise no, your no, hand. No, no, no. Raise your hand. No, 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 no. So we no. take turns. No, 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 Nick, no, 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 What the fuck? I heard that some of y'all were raising the salute, so I decided to come back. Let's go. <laughs> Poor Sneeko. For all rolls out. Oh, come on. No! We're done. No, no. Dad's gone. No. What is your definition of a high value man? It doesn't matter. Like, just say, what is a high value man? It's the first part of the tweet. What does that mean? You tell me what a high value man is. Oh, the is. fastest oh. way to becoming a high value man oh, is these things. What is that? Okay. So here's the thing. What is a high value man? But the very fact that you're even asking this in the first place is the actual point of the.
fucking tweet. What is your definition of high value med? This is the number one talked about topic on all of these shows. And so I want to get a clear definition from you. What is it? You tell, again, it depends on the person. Look, I'm asking as somebody who's really interested in the red pill. I listen to a lot of this content. I want to know what your definition is, because if you have a definition that's completely off of what I think it is, then I guess I'm not red pill. Well, here's what here's. OK, so here's what I think a guys ought to do. Which and so in the search for being high value, which as put by Fitz seeking account is being tall, having money and abs, he in my eyes could be no closer to the terms low and non-existent in the place of a leader. And the same goes for, for Tweedledy Dumb Fresh. They both lie, they're both dishonest, and they both are, are an ox gilded in gold. A complete and utter false set of leaders. And they're such false leaders that they are even having issues of leading themselves to continued greatness. But I think that that's just about enough for this idea. Uh, tell me what your thoughts are down below. If you disagree, let me know why. And in the same and the same thing goes for agreement, because all voices are welcome. Just be safe with your words, because we are still on YouTube. But while you're down there, please consider hitting that subscribe button to become a fellow bread bag, and also hit that like button so that people who may not have seen this video can see this video, and so that they might hit that subscribe button to become a f to join the bread box. Because once again, we need more bread. Though, aside from that, I hope to see you in the next video, and until then, have a good one.